What happened? You did? Why he blocked you? Because uh, one day I was leaving the studio and I'm uh, driving. He on live. He was he's talking to somebody and gave the number out and didn't know that he was still on live. <laughs> thought he muted it. So I called over two hundred times the whole way an hour home. Hey, so I'm fucking with him. He like, whoop, whoop, you gay or something's wrong with you? Whoop. He like, to <laughs> you were killing it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And, and it's crazy, too, because Smack, didn't he end up blocking you? Yeah. <laughs> you all that dude? No. Yeah, because uh, one day. <laughs> and he, hey, that nigga and, blocked you. And he, and he fucked hey, he fuck with Charleston heavy. Oh, he messed up, though, when he, when he went what across the road. Tell what him what you did. Why he blocked you? Because uh, one day I was leaving the studio, and I'm uh, driving, he on live. He was, he was talking to somebody and gave the number out and didn't know that he was still on light, thought he muted it. So I called over 200 times the whole way an hour home. Hey, so I'm fucking with him. He like, whoop, whoop, you gay or something's wrong with you, whoop. He like, Charles. <laughs> you were killing it. I swear. So now he, I just I was just on him. I'm like, man, I like this dude, though. You feel yeah. me? He say the wild stuff. Yeah. But before he get off, he know how to clean it up. Yeah. And like he said, when I get on this camera, I'm a character. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean he a character? So now I'm doing my research. He like, when I disrespect people, I call them by their hood name. That ain't their real name. That, he's like, like basically me. My name is S-Mac. He can say F.S. Mac, but he never said F. Kevin Deshaun Hambry. Yeah. Who I, Cassandra raised. Hey, but that's, a, that's a slippery slope, bro. It is I a slippery been, slope. I, I'm telling you right now. No, look, that's I'm a you, very slippery look, slope. I'm telling you, that's just a nickname. Yeah. That's a nickname. But, that's but he why just say it the wrong way when he after dead and all that. That's yeah. what makes it crazy. That's what makes it go real crazy. That's but why Melvin Fawn was like, um, you know, he when got he was when, he, when he went in about Nipsey right. and about Buntry and all of those yeah. different people that's dead. And he went in, all, he was like, man, no, nobody going to disrespect Nipsey Hussle, Tookie Williams. Y'all right, right. remember that episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Push, nigga. Wow. So I assassinate the idols. Don't. Fuck what I say, nigga. Look what I do. So that's why I, I say any motherfucking thing. And I've heard you say yeah, that Yeah, I say any motherfucking thing, huh? Yeah, the, yeah, I say any internet. motherfucking thing. The internet yeah, I'm is a shock something. jock. Yeah, 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 I'm a shock jock. Nigga ain't got no business listening to me no way. He and I'm willing to time. die. I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail by what I come out of my mouth. Wow. So when you think about the character versus the, the, the individual as far as the way the mother brings this child to, to her image when she's dealing with it, do you, I mean... Do you guys see the difference or do y'all feel like it's the same? First, let me start by saying this. And it ain't gonna be no rebuttals about this. Shock jocks, killers, whoever the fuck run in their mouth. I represent LA and I represent this crip shit. I don't give a fuck about a character, but I care about a person's legacy. Don't no nigga disrespect Nipsey Hussle, Monster Cody, Tookie, Raymond Washington, nigga. It's tried by 12 or carried by six anywhere, anytime. So th this is something that, that it's a slippery slope. So you got to know how to, how to deal with this because like I said before, a lot of those people who, they only go by that nickname. They only known in the hood That's by that nickname. Legacy. So they, you know, they, it's, it can turn crazy looking, you know. Um, we had our altercations, you know what I'm saying? And I never spoke back or never even talked about it because at the end of the day, me, he never called me or we, me and him never spoke wrong to each other. He was doing his internet thing. Me and my wife, I was like, you know what? I never, because I don't talk. I, first of all, I knew you can't never take that back down. So if you really watch the episodes, you're going to see that nigga stay in character. <laughs> because mm -hmm. I know already this is a legacy for my kids to watch when I'm dead and gone. Y'all know that, right? Real talk. Right. So you can't be on here just crazy now. And that's why when me making a statement like that, I don't want people to see that and be mm -hmm. like, oh, this is, I'm, I'm just, you know, being the person that they think I am, a yeah. nigga. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm going on this platform and that doesn't show no progression. So I get, you know, through all these obstacles in life and I'm living good and I'm doing what I'm doing and I go on camera and I say some shit like that. That bring me right back down to where I was in the first place. So I had to recognize that. Man, like, I'm going to show you you're a human being. We right. all, you know, make mistakes. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you um, and she can attest to this. I didn't even put out the hard stuff. 
Just think I know his that. body crazy. I got some yeah. way don't I? I got yeah. some stuff that I didn't even put out. I still got tons of footage from Charleston White that I've never posted nothing else. After he had it, we left our deal where we left it. I kept on moving and he kept on moving. And at the end of the day, I knew already certain things when you put it out there, you you can't never pull it back. Mm-hmm. Right. And so mm-hmm. for Adam 22, you, but more Adam, God, the things that he said. I got it. <laughs> like, whoa. I, it's some stuff that he said I would never put out, man, because I know already uh, it, it looks a certain way on your platform. When you look at, uh, say, uh, you remember when Kanye said what he said, people coming back out apologizing because, you know, you know it looks a certain way. So you don't want to be caught up in a situation where you look a certain way and we don't look the right way to our people, bro. Yeah. So I, I commend you for even coming back and saying, you know what, man, I, I did. I shouldn't have said it. You know what I'm saying? And and it looked like, dang, you up there with a white guy trying to say you're going to set up a black guy. That's bad. That's what it looked like. They do like that, too. And that's what it, and that's where he played it, too. He played it all the way. Bam. He knocked it out of the oh, park. Oh, that's what that? I was saying. He got me there. <laughs> <laughs> You got a rib shot. What was you saying when you seen these clips coming Man, by? Man, I was like, at first I was getting pissed off because I know there's nothing that I could do about it. Right, and right. Then, he, then I see him going say cheese. I see him. It was like, going everywhere. It was blowing like, up. I can't say, I, there's nothing that I can do. Because if I if I threaten him, I've already been threatening this man. You yeah. feel me? That looks bad because I don't lie. Like, people was telling me, it was like, hey, you know, at one, half of the people are like, hey, yeah, go, 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 do Yeah. But the other half is like, come on, man, that's a black man. That's and right. Man, so I'm sitting there thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, this is not the brand that I even want to be pushing right now. Me setting up somebody. The t- to an older guy. An older guy. Then I say older that. Older guy that's got, got really handicaps, all kind of stuff. And I say that to the world. I deal with this? I say that to the world. Wow. There's hundreds of thousands of people watching that, and, and that's what come out of my mouth. So I'm like, ah, that's not cool. Yeah. So you know, once I once I um, I got on the phone with him, I apo- apologized to him about that. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it takes, man. That's big. That's real big, mm-hmm. bro. Like I said, when a, when apology is something that's due, then a real man will, will, will pick up the phone we'll and say, hey, you know what, that. man, I was wrong. I shouldn't even say that. You ain't say nothing to me, really, for me to even say that to Real you. Talk. So I should. I'm man enough to call you and say, man, you didn't deserve that. And, and that's hard, bro, because at the end of the day, you release him. Unforgiveness is something else. You hold a person in a place when you're mm-hmm. unforgiving them. But when you forgive them, you release them. And that's what's so cold about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I, I like it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest with you. I thank you guys. I, hey, man, listen, man. Y'all y'all got something special up there on the West Coast, man. Y'all boys better. Hey, y'all better keep this thing going for oh, us, bro. We, in the South, baby. Hey, we ain't playing. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just so, looking forward to the future. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.